All right, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Rose, and today we are going to dive into the exciting world of designing a talk show fly in Photoshop in just some few minutes. So without wasting much time, let's get started. The size of the red sheet is 1080 by 1350. So the 1350 is for the height and then the 1080 is for the width. These are the resources that I'll be using in design the fly and a link to these resources will be in the description below. So we'll start by adding our guides. So go to view guides and select new guide layout. Over here, set column to one, set rows to one, leave these ones to be the same and then set the left margin to 100 percent and set the right margins to 100 percent as well. When you are done, just select OK over here. Now let's import our background image and then resize it. So I'll drag my background image onto my worksheet. Press Ctrl T and then I will resize it. So I'll just resize it like this. After doing that, go to filter blur and then select Gaussian blur over here set the radius to 10.0 pixels and then select ok so after doing that let's import our our pattern image so once again i'll select my pattern image and then drag it onto my red sheet press ctrl t and then press size it so something like this is ok so after resizing it, let's change the background of the pattern image. Let's change it from normal to multiply. And then let's reduce it to opacity to something like um, 40% or no, let's go with 30%. So 30% is okay. Now let's import our model image and then resize. So this is the actual image of our model but then i've already cut it out so we'll be using the cut out image rather so i'll drag my models image onto my red sheet and then push it down like this press ctrl t and let's resize it so i think so something like this is okay something like this is okay let me push it to the left side just a little bit so after importing our models image, make sure that the models layer is selected and then go to filter and select camera raw. Camera raw foot. So I let's enlarge the picture a little bit. I think this is okay. So in camera raw, under the light section, let's give it a contrast of plus 25 let's give it a highlight of minus 51 so let's give it a highlight of minus 51 and then let's give it a shadow of plus 69 i think this is okay now let's move to the effects section so under the effects section let's add a texture of 50 let's add a texture of 50 and the clarity of 8 then let's give it a behave of 48 i think this is okay now let's move on to the details under the details let's give it a sharpening value of 17 let's give a sharpening value of 17 and then with the noise reduction let's set the value to 4 so here is the before and then here is the after once we are okay with it just click on ok over here now we've been able to add some little effect to our model's image i think this is looking good now let's add a black and white adjustment layer onto our model's image so click here and select black and white adjustment 
over here click this side to clip the black and white adjustment layer onto our models layer so that the black and white adjustment layer will affect only our model over here i think this is looking great so after that let's add our text so i'll select my type tool and then type out the word talk show I'm typing everything in capital letters. So let's go top show. And then the alignment is also in the middle, like it's center aligned. Now, press Ctrl T and let's resize the text. I'm like this, okay. But then let's change the color to white. Now let's change the font. The font style to the font called Modia. That's Modia non commercial regular. So select that. Let's give it a size of let's say 67. 67 is okay. And then there's a lot of space over here. So let's reduce the size to the space. Let's reduce the space over here to something like mm, let's go with uh, mm, let's go with 49 let's see yeah 49 is okay and then make sure that the space in between each letter you set it to minus 50 and then you can see that there's a big gap over here between the t and a and also between the o and then the w over here so what we do is we double click here and then select in between the t and then the a Hold down your alt key and with the help of your right of your left arrow key, just nudge it to the left side a little bit. So I think this is okay. Let's select between the O and then the W and then hold down the alt key again. Use the left arrow key to close the gap over, over there. So this is okay for me. Yeah, this is okay for me. Now let me center my text. After doing that. Let's drag it down a little bit, but then we want the we want our text to be beneath our model image, like it should be at the back of our model image. So what we do is we select the text layer, then drag it beneath our model layer. So that's why like it's okay. And then let's push it up just a little. So with the help of our top arrow key, we we'll just push it up to something like this. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Now let's add the other text. So select your type tool again. Click here and then let's type exclusive. So exclusive. Now to be using the same font. That's the Modia font. Now let's change. Okay, we're using the same font. So, but then let's change the font size to. Eight. Then let's change the other color. Let's change this side to something like a nine. And then we want the space in between each letters to be a bit wide. So let's go with the higher number. So let's go with something like nine hundred. Yeah, this is okay. Now I'll press Ctrl for selection. Then align my text to the center of my worksheet and then press Ctrl D to be selected. Let me push it down just a little bit. So I think something like this. Okay. Now select these two text layers, press Ctrl G and name them empty. That's main text. Yeah. So name them empty. That's the main text. So now let's select let's select everything press ctrl g and name them region for background open your background group select your main text group over here you want to add some light over you can see that this part of the background is black and then our model image is also black so the model image isn't showing that well so we'll be 
added some kind of color over here to make our models layer pop up so to do that let's first create an empty layer so click here to create an empty layer after creating the empty layer select your eyedropper tool over here and then let's pick the red color from here so we've picked our red color now go back to the two menu the two menus and then select the brush tool after selecting the brush tool you'll be creating a circle shape over here but then you could use your left bracket key to reduce the size of the brush and also you, you can use your right bracket key to increase the size of the brush i think something like this is okay for me so i'll position my brush tool over here and then create the shape over there but then the after creating the shape the color is looking a bit dull over there so what we do is let's change its blend mode from normal to something like the linear dodge so when we turn up the visibility of this light over here you can see that the background the models layer isn't popping up for and then when we turn it on you can see that the models layer is popping up really well now select this that's the top layer over here in the group and then let's add a color lookup so to add a color lookup click here and select color lookup right here open the first one and then select the kodak 5218 kodak 2395 over here see that it has added an effect onto our design but then the effect is too much so we will have to reduce its opacity now let's reduce its opacity to something around i think 40 percent might work yes 40 percent is okay for us now let's close our background group over here press ctrl shift alt e to merge everything into one image so after doing that now we can turn off the visibility of our background so now this is our image we've merged everything in one image over here after doing that right click and convert to smart objects now go to make sure that the merged image layer is selected go to filter and select camera raw filter over here the only thing that we'll be doing is let's go to the effects section and then let's add some vignettes to it so let's add a vignette of minus 15 yeah so mine let's add a vignette of minus 15 over here minus 15. yes so something like this okay so you can see that at the corners at the corners the four corners over here so that it has darkened that part of the image we are doing that so that the main we want to set the main focus to be the middle part of the design over here that's the the talk show and then our model so add to darken the like we've darkened the corners like the edges of our design to make the middle part pop up for us so this is the here's the before and then here's the after and this we can do so now select okay over here now after doing that go to filter once again and then select noise and let's select add noise over here so over here let's add a noise of 1.5 percent and then make sure that the distribution is on uniform and then the the monochromatic is also checked over here now select okay we've added some kind of noise to our design after doing that let's add our logo and then resize it but then before we add our logo let's select these two layers press ctrl g to do them then let's name them vgs now let's import our logo so i'll just drag my logo onto my worksheet 
press Ctrl T and then resize it. Then something like this is okay. Now I'll place it at the top over here. And then after doing that, let's add let, let's group the let's add it to a group. So press Ctrl G and then let's name it logo. So now we know that this group contains our logo and then this group contains our background. Once we've added our logo, now let's add the name of the host. So to add the name of the host, select the type to once again. Click here and then let's add the name of the host. So let's do it by then let's give it let's give our host a name. So let's do it something like Andrew Pace. Yeah, so this is okay. And then the spaces between each letter is too much. So I will use it to something like a minus 50. It's okay. Now let's set the font size to something like 9. And then let's change the font. Let's go with the Montserrat font. So let's go with Montserrat regular will be okay for us. And let's change the color to white. Now let's do something over here. So let's push the haze just like beneath our beneath the name Andrew. Something like this. Okay. Select the haze name. And then let's reduce this the gap over here. So I'll just drag this back. So something like this. Seven is okay. Okay, let me try six. No, 6 is too much. So let's go with 7. Okay, so select this side to as well the buy. And then let's change the font. Let's go with Monstrad. But then we'll be using Monstrad Black. And then let's change the color code to something like FFP400. And then select OK. So I think this is nice. Let's position our host name. I think let's place it somewhere here. Mm -hmm. So something like this looking great. Now let's see. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, so guys, this is how to create a very beautiful talk show fly in Adobe Photoshop. I encourage you guys to try and recreate this talk show fly in Photoshop using the techniques I've shared today. Don't forget to share your designs in the comment below. Can't wait to see what you've come up with. So there you have it. Designing a talk show fly in Photoshop made easy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. Also, comment, subscribe for more design tips and tutorials. Catch you in the next video.